clients uh, approached us, they were, had just recently bought this vacant site up here by the beach and were looking to do a new um, home which would become eventually a permanent home but um, start off as a holiday home. So while it was primarily for the two of them, it also was to cater as a holiday place for the adult children and the young grandchildren to come to. So that was sort of a key in, in thinking about how to create spaces for everyone to holiday together, but also having little places to retreat to. With the New Zealand coastal subdivisions that you're getting um, relatively narrow lots with neighbours, so that's always an issue for us to, to deal with. A solution that we've used on this house, we've used a few times before to create a, a courtyard in the centre and that courtyard space becomes a, a sheltered, sunny outdoor area, capturing the beautiful views in one direction, but also carefully shutting down views towards other buildings and things that you don't want to see. Part of the design was creating this uh, master bedroom as its own retreat, so we put that on a top level towards the back of the site, so it's the most um, private um, end of the building away from the road but sitting up in the sort of crow's nest bedroom, you're looking right out and having unobstructed views over the top of the rest of the house. Up there, we were able to create a real retreat room, so even when the house is full of guests and family, you can uh, them escape up there and have their own luxurious space. Raising the living level up well above the street allows us to have floor-to-ceiling glass looking straight out and enjoying the water view um, but being sufficiently above the road level that um, we're not locked in on by people on the road and when you're in the house you look outwards you can't see the road um, down below you so you just get an uninterrupted outlook to the water. When we're looking at the design concept the concrete floor structure seemed to be um, the best option for us. It, it both covered the parts of the house that were dug into the hillside so a concrete slab on the ground was a logical choice there. So it was sort of detailed um, to be a concrete floor with the possibility if, if it didn't work that a timber could be laid over it in a future time. I think in reality they found um, it's a very comfortable floor it absorbs the heat of the sun and so it, it makes the house thermally really comfortable year round. Well Peter Fell's sort of been a, a leader in New Zealand for a long time and uh, taking concrete uh, away from uh, something fairly industrial and uh, creating special effects with it so um, in this case um, a Peter Fell oxide was used to just tint the concrete to a warm sandy colour rather than its um, standard grey. My practice, Julian Guthrie Architects, we're just focused primarily on hiring um, residential homes. So we do do a lot of coastal homes and enjoy the special locations dotted around New Zealand. But every house is sort of a unique design to suit the site and to suit the client. So that's really the, the fun of every project is, is coming up with a new design and something uh, unique for those um, clients to enjoy.